cultural probes are intended to be used in the early stages of the design process to create empathy of a selected group of users and gain understanding of the context they live in. The main purpose being to serve as source of inspiration to the designer. How to use cultural probes. First anticipate and use known behavior of the participants that are going to be working with the cultural probe, for example, daily rituals or activities. Select materials to be included in the package, for example, a camera, a map, stickers, a workbook, and a diary. Now distribute your cultural probes among the participants of the research. To get a better understanding, let's take a look inside the cultural probe. This is the diary. The diary can be used according to diary methods. Participants are asked to log information about certain topics on a daily basis. Participants can use pictures and writing to fill the diary. Our next artifact is the workbook. In the workbook, the designer can give tasks to the participants to execute or write about. This can mean adding personal objects like photos or newspaper cutouts. It's provocative and fun exercises invite participants to work actively with this part of the probe. The exercises in the workbook are a good way of engaging the participants in the topic of research. Next up is the map. Using stickers, participants can mark places on a map of their environment that they think are relevant to the research topic. And finally, the camera. Using a disposable camera, participants can be given tasks to take photos of certain objects or be left free to document events related to the topic of research. The visual medium of personal photos can be combined with other media, like the diary or the map. Not in the cultural probe, but equally relevant, are the postcards. Using postcards with questions that are sent from designer to participants regularly, close, informal contact can be maintained. Participants receive a postcard, write their answer and send it back. The postcards may also serve as a reminder for participants to keep working with the cultural probe. Together, all these different media provide a big diversity of data to the designer. Just make sure that the items in your cultural probe are relevant, thought-provoking and interesting. After the set amount of time, sit together and discuss more details on the topic of research with the participants.
the cultural probe has triggered the target group to think about their context and the contextual changes that could or should take place. This leads to a relevant in-depth discussion, which is based on a relationship between participants and designer that has been built up over time through ongoing communication. Benefits if used properly may build a relationship between designer and user. Inspiration-rich sharing of thoughts and information. Different media and pro provide different perspectives. Warning inappropriate use, less applicable in later phases of design process. Good preparation is essential for useful results, not suitable for quick contextual research. When considering to use cultural probes, you might also be interested in technology probes, diary methods and ethnological methods. 